Hey guys, I'm Rahul and I'm back on channel. So this video, as the title says, is some new fishes I bought after a very very long time. Uh, it's been really long since I bought fish, uh, discus specifically. So I picked it up from one of our uh, known persons, uh, he's from Pune. So if you guys are interested in fishes like this, do let me know. If there is any stock, I can uh, patch you up with these guys or we can also source it for you guys, no problem. This video is basically a simple unboxing uh, from when I got it and uh, I made uh, necessary arrangements before the fish came in and uh, unboxing and uh, we use this product called uh, Discus Protection Protector it's uh, basically mainly if you have already existing fish tanks and uh, there's this huge problem with uh, cross contamination so this thing basically it avoids a little expensive uh, so yeah so this product uh, it costs about 1800 or 1900 i think uh, and it's one time use so since i was buying about 16 fishes i don't want to take a chance and since i already have existing fishes in my house i don't want to uh, cause any cross contamination so this basically prevents that so you basically most is very simple you dump the entire uh, thing into a 10 liter fish tank and uh, dip the fish for 15 minutes and uh, then Put the, take the fish into your fish room. So it's like a quick quarantine, that's what is the main thing. Little expensive, but otherwise it's a very, very decent product. All my fishes are fine and the fishes took some time to recover because they were traveling for a overnight and all of that to reach Bangalore. And uh, yeah, that's what this video is about. Simple unboxing and how to use this product. That's about it. So check it out and uh, see you on the other side. Bye. Oh man, cleaning the bottom tank is very very difficult because this much almost two inches of water the pump will not take so we have to use a sponge fill it up tiring job things we need to do in our hobby yeah and yeah, like I was saying, potassium permanganate, I've done it in a lot of my videos, completely disinfects your tank. So especially your uh, silicon smell and all of that will get removed. So it's always better to leave it for a couple of hours. I leave it for a day generally and then wipe down the entire glass and all of that. And then uh, wipe it out again with a little bit of fresh water. Yep. So. Some things we need to do to keep our fishes or babies happy. Yep. <laughs> okay, let me clean this up and get back. Finally, the fishes have come. Lots of them. Let's take them home.
so this is the discus protector basically for a quick quarantine because as you guys know i have a lot of fishes inside my fish room and uh, this basically uh, helps in removing out any kind of external or uh, stopping cross contamination which is a very common thing in the hobby and uh, you guys would have heard that if you get the new fishes and the older fishes had a problem so this is a product which i picked up a uh, little expensive i will give the details of it in the video's description so all the fishes have come and i'm going to be putting this so this needs to be added into a 10 liter water uh, same tank water same temperature and outside your fish room not in the so this way i'm doing it outside not in your fish room so before your fishes enter the new fishes enter your fish room uh, we need to go through this so we're going to be adding the entire content in this box into 10 liter of water it's got an air stone and uh, every fish needs to be uh, in this uh, gel or this solution for 15 minutes so since it's a tank i can put at least four fishes together and uh, yeah so let's see how it goes and uh, hopefully they feel better yeah let's do this so this is the powder which they have told to add the entire thing into 10 liters of water nothing else to be done just add it directly so it is only a one time use so you need to wait for it to get mixed and then start adding the fishes into this first fish entering the tank So this is something which happens when you uh, add new fish into your tank. So it's basically because uh, the there is a sudden uh, change in the pressure. So they feel that thing. So they find it difficult to swim. So they'll take some time, but they definitely will come back. See, so like this one is lying down. Yeah, but they'll be fine soon. I will uh, show you a video. in a day's time how they are but yeah you should give them some time it's a little scary i understand yeah but yeah see this is the same fish which is lying down now it's feeling much better hello how are you so now is give it some time they will all settle down yeah they are all settled and in their own tanks she got a little scared because i switched on the light but yeah, it's a good batch what i got looking to get some pairs from these beauties and of course the white butterflies yeah <laughs> they all well settled then there individual tanks one tank sure and one tank sure yeah so it's all good <laughs> you hmm. 
so hope you like this video if you did give us a big thumbs up like and share our videos and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do subscribe and i mentioned my earlier videos also so do subscribe or follow us on instagram so uh, you can interact with us it's much more easier uh, to interact with us and uh, if you want to share some videos about your fish or if you have some issues with your fish you ask me questions uh, in comments i generally try to reply to all my comments but sometimes it needed to see the fish uh, before we you know give a treatment or any kind of a suggestion right so uh, yeah that's about it so until our next video stay tuned and uh, yeah keep watching there will be a lot of videos coming up and uh, stay safe the pandemic is still on and the numbers are increasing like crazy so Please stay safe, uh, wear a mask, wash your hands, inhale every day and uh, try to avoid traveling. I think lockdown is coming back again soon. So stay safe guys and uh, until uh, next video, bye bye, take care.